live on my great challenge.blogspot.com and if you watch my video last week about the whole cleaning of the house I'll put the link below if you missed out from top to bottom I talked about my main bathroom and it's not a big bathroom like I said I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself uh, if you've watched the video already this is the way the bathroom was set up when we moved in we have intentions to entirely um, redo the bathroom do like one of those big overall and move walls and add a real tub with the jets and all of that but this is not happening anytime soon probably within the next five years maybe um, but this is not like something we're rushing or want to make a priority because the bathroom is really functional it's working for us as is but I'm missing one important piece to it I'm missing storage for all of my makeup and kind of like a vanity um, table kind of area where I can just sit put on makeup and put like knickknacks and things and just make it a little bit more feminine I'm just gonna give you a real quick look at what the bathroom looks like that would be I guess the before uh, shot it's like I said it's not a big bathroom it just has one of those um, shower slash tub with a, a glass door here and because this this is in the attic it has like the slanted gable roof type thing which really limits the space but anyway that's the way it is is a toilet here and I have this storage piece here and I think I'm gonna reuse somehow I don't know how yet but I've got some ideas there's this big dresser over here in front of the window I have one sink only and a counter space and some things here that are mostly mine there's the uh, hello there's the uh, um, you know cabinet thing here um, two big doors over here, three drawers there. I have some shelves here with all of my makeup, well most of my makeup because I have more in here and my brushes and then there's my um, uh, Bath and Body Works sets and by the way this is one of the latest one and I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to do a review on this and maybe a giveaway, I don't know, we'll see. This is the French Lavender, wonderful scent. Um, I'm digressing but the pink chiffon is still my favorite and you know I can you can tell because I think this is my second bottle and the oil one is on its way there. Um, anyway so I have the shower gels and some of the lotions and then there's a chair and you know an area here and the door over here. So as you can see this is not a big bathroom but what I plan on doing today is building my own DIY vanity table, vanity desk, vanity storage area. I have some wood, I have the screws, I have paint, I have everything. All I need to do is kind of design it, measure it, cut the stuff, put it together and then I gotta paint it and then tomorrow if this is done today then I'll do a makeup organization type video. So the plan is to move this dresser right here on this side and I'm probably gonna have to remove this but this is not an emergency um, I may move it over here instead but right now I just want to put the dresser over here because what I'm gonna do is an extension of this vanity kind of counter over here all the way there and there's gonna be a chair right here now stay with me okay because you gotta really use your imagination now so basically the vanity is gonna be right here and the reason why I'm putting it here is because it's in front of the window and it's perfect to do makeup I get natural light then I have so I'm gonna to try to do like some kind of storage on either side it's gonna be with legs and all of that so I don't know I'm, I gotta figure it out but then I have this thing here that I bought at Target and I think I talked about it um, in my last video that I really believe this is useless um, I like the top part I like the part with the um, um, glass door because it's see-through and really if you were organizing it nice it would really look pretty but this right here is absolutely useless I have some drawers in here with some you know knickknacks and you can see I really well that's empty yeah you see I'm a mess I told you so basically in here all I have is leftover q-tips and those drawers are really not that deep I guess maybe 10 inches and then the 8 inches um, tall so that's about it so there's two of them right and then there's this one here at the bottom that's a double drawer that is very very deep that you're supposed to use for toilet paper and things like this and we don't I don't know I just don't like the bottom part so one of the things that I was thinking of doing was disassemble it and just keep the top part so 
let's just say for instance that my insane idea works then I would be able to separate this part here with the glass and put it on top of the vanity I'm going to build and then I could separate this and maybe I keep it maybe I put it right here maybe I just get rid of it I don't know yet but I think I want to keep this now if I put it on the dresser right the issue is that the door if I put it this way and I don't want to put it this I don't want to put it facing this way I want to put it facing me but if I do that then the door would be opening this way and it's not really practical so one of the insane ideas I have if it works is to separate this and then flip it so that the door opens the other way I don't know if you follow me so anyway that's what I'm trying to do today I've got to uh, move this big dresser I got to start measuring things I got to see how I'm going to set it and start building it so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I'm inspiring you and doing your own stuff I mean there's a lot of people on YouTube that just go to Pottery Barn and buy a ton of stuff I don't have the funds it's not that you know I mean I could put it on credit I could buy it if I was saving a little bit of money each month but really I don't see the point if I can make it myself I'm gonna do it myself and probably enjoy it even more um i found that when you buy furniture especially these days you can get a lot of furniture that laminate and all of this but you know you buy those furnitures you pay a premium price for a brand or whatever and then they just look beat up after two years so i'd rather build it and then if i'm tired of it i just get rid of it it cost me maybe a hundred dollars worth of material it's unique it's my design it's functioning for me and i'm happy with it i can replace it i can make another one i can change it around you know you get the point i'd rather do things myself um i'm insane like that so so let me go ahead we're gonna move this i'm gonna measure the space that i have and how much wood i need now I don't think I want it to go all the way up here because then it's really going to take a lot of space here in the bathroom so what I may do is just move it to here which is where the sink starts that way I have room for the chair and when the chair is tucked in under the desk then everything is kind of flush this way um, so yeah that's what I think I'm going to do anyway let me move this measure and then I'll show you the progress okay so I moved the dresser on this side and I think I can live with that um, I mean obviously I'm gonna have to remove the um, you know towel bar this needs to be repainted because uh, I have some spots on it and then I have one of the knobs that's broken but that's coming in later on but it's not too bad I can have it here and I actually can use this for jewelry now um, and then maybe put a mirror I don't know but the space over here is now empty I removed the curtains because they need to be washed and I really don't know if I want to put them back it's a fairly large window and you can see there's a lot of light here so now I have this entire space over here and probably more if I take this out of the way um, I don't want to be by the toilet though so I don't know maybe I'll make a partition I don't know, I'm thinking about it but right now what I need to do is kind of like make a um, a quick sketch of ideas of things that I think would me um, I'm sorry there's a bike I'm gonna wait for it okay so I just want to make a sketch of ideas that I have and what I think would be probably the best solution uh, for my storage I know I want to have drawers not drawers but spaces underneath where I can just have trays with just eyeshadows, trays with just lipstick, trays with just uh, um, maybe mascaras and eyeliners and then another one with just blushes so that would be four already and then there would be another one for uh, um, um, I don't know special items so maybe three trays on each side or maybe six trays on one side I don't know I gotta think about it um, but let me get a pad of paper I'm gonna start drawing some ideas so this is where you get to see the true insanity here um, alright so I'm gonna try to draw and film at the same time it's kind of hard because I usually hold the paper with my left hand um, all right so I'm thinking about doing a simple table like this so that needs to be measured right then I want a panel like this maybe that goes all the way down with one 
to maybe I'll do just three drawers and then if I can I'll do another one here with one two and three drawers um, I do have legs in um, I do have some leftover spindles and stuff so that I can use that for legs because believe it or not you can cut them out and do some legs so maybe I'll just keep it this way and kind of do the legs this way right so these are the legs um, and then I want to do a little bit of the uh, border here and another one here right so if it was if I was looking at it in perspective you would have the table like this tum, 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 right with the drawer and another one like this right I hope you follow me on this one and then there will be the spindles like this right and this I can actually affix it to the wall in the back so I don't have to have spindles in the back but I want to do kind of like a lip right here so it would look like this and then do another one this way right and maybe put a shelf right here on top so I would be able to put stuff underneath and put things on top but if I do it this way what's gonna happen next is that I don't have um, a space on top for my cabinet so maybe I'm just gonna keep the cabinet I have to measure to see how wide I can have these because I have to be able to fit the, uh, the chair right here so if I put the big tall cabinet on the side then it would look like this right remember what the cabinet looks like with those drawers and then this the um, thing here with the glass um, and then the countertop would be right here with the sink and then it would be flush to the rest right that's the countertop and then there would be the two uh, cabinets and then I have the three drawer here and then the big um, uh, what would you call it the uh, vanity cabinet so that's basically what it would look like sounds insane right I have to measure this all of this here on the side I got to see how much space I can fit in what kind of size tray spaces I need here I have the wood I may need some more but basically yeah I think that's what it's gonna look like so in case you missed it in the last 60 something videos I have on my channel I am completely insane look at what I did bam I disassemble my cabinet from Target actually I had to completely destroy it I have pieces over there but now because I didn't like these anyway I had no use for those drawers so why keep them I was able to remove the bottom so now I have just the top with the glass cabinet which is what I want and then I have the bottom part here that turns out to be kind of like a uh, mini stool thing so I can restore that and I can actually put it on the table and I would have storage underneath and storage on top so yeah I guess it's a win-win for me um, now I have all the space to build my own vanity I still want to do kind of like a partition here I'm not sure I don't I don't know if I want to have the toilet right here um, I may not have the choice but look at all the space that I have now. I can really, really do something awesome. Wouldn't it be easier to just go to a garage sale and find an old school desk? But yeah, I'm insane. I want to build it on my own, share that with you and be proud of it. Splinters, whatever you call them, um, all over. So I'm definitely going to have to sand it. But I'm going to do that at a later time. I want to build it first and then I'll send wherever I need to send. So let me just show you what we got. Um, the first piece is the long flat panel. That's the one that goes on the top. So that's going to stay here. So then I have, what is this? What are you doing here? I'm trying to get the dog out of here. All right. Goodbye. <sighs> All right. Let's go back. Um... Yeah, so when you get your wood cut at the Home Depot and you have a lot of different sizes, as it gives them to you, the best thing you can do is just 
write down which they are that way you don't have to try to like figure it out later on so I have two bottom pieces I have four sides and I have four shells and then these are the lips that go around the only thing that I'm missing is the uh, uh, legs in the garage because I'm using like the spindles from the uh, um, the deck outside um, or at least the front porch so let me just show you a quick drawing that I just did to you to show you what I'm talking about here because what I'm gonna do first step is going to build the cubes and the cubes as you know I was two part here now you've got to imagine like the desktop is right here right so like I said I have four of those these are the side panels they are 20 by 21 so they're a little bit deeper than they are tall so I have four I have one two and then for the other cube one and two so that's four then I have two middle shelves that are 15 in width and 21 because this is 21 right so they go all the way to the back and they're only 15 in width and these I have four as well I have one two and then two for the other cubes and it's these ones right here but the bottom panel has to be a little bit wider because it sits this way see that so I have 15 here but then I need to add the quarter inch um, the three quarter inch on each side which is an inch and a half so the bottom panels are 16 and a half by 21 and I'm going to insert them so that the top part let's say it's a double H sits on them it just reinforces it a little bit so they're gonna get screwed this way three times probably one two and three or one two and three and then these are gonna be screwed in one and two and then one and two here on the side so all together I'm gonna to build two of those cubes they're not gonna have anything on top here because that's where the top panel goes and if you calculate the whole thing is 53 inches wide which is 53 inches for the top panel but if I have the 16 and a half on either side which is this right 16 and a half on either side that comes down to 33 so that leaves me a space of 20 in between which is a little bit wider than the space I need for the chair so that's perfect so we got 53 and then 16 and a half then 20 then 16 and a half and that comes down to 53 so the first thing I'm going to do again step one we're going to build the cubes I'm going to build these um, two cubes that are going to be the actual storage components on either side of the desk so we got a side we got the bottom and then we have these right here that are going to be a little bit less wide they have about three quarter of an inch on either side so if you look at it this way and if I put the side panel I'm trying to work with both hands here it's not that easy all right here you go so the side panel is going to sit on top of the bottom panel right and then you see the one that's right there on the top that's one of the shelves so that just fits in right like this obviously not here but more like over here so let me get started by um putting the bottom panel attached to the two sides and then we'll insert the shelves i'm using the side of my uh, um, vanity to kind of hold it together because they haven't been assembled yet but i just want to make sure that you see what it looks like right you get the bottom panel right that's going to be um kissing I guess the one on the side and then the same thing over there I'm gonna get some wood glue and just put some wood glue in between the two here just to make sure that I have reinforcement and then I'll just go ahead and screw them in and then once that's a little bit more set I'll go over on this side and do the exact same thing with the wood glue and the screws and that way I can just flip this to the side insert my two shelves and then screw them from um, the side i'm hoping i'm giving you good directions i know what i'm doing um it's just difficult to film and do this at the same time i guess i should try to put the uh, uh let me see if i can put the camera on the uh, on the shelf maybe you can watch me work as i do it maybe that would help let's be clear here okay i'm not a carpenter i am not a cabinet builder i'm just a gal who's trying to get herself a vanity desk and build it on her own so i'm sure if you are a professional i'm making a ton of mistakes i'm doing it wrong and 
I don't know if I need to say that I don't care. I just want a desk. That's all I need. Um, and I want one that's solid and, and stays. So I'm going to put enough screws. Hopefully it's going to stay in. So anyway, let me remove the top panel because what I'm going to do right now is just put glue on the side right here um, where I am going to uh, screw. Actually, it's the bottom panel. So let me just remove the bottom panel. And of course, this is going to move put it back on and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue over here because this is where I need a good bond because that's the bottom panel remember I want to make sure that it stays put now I don't care if the glue goes to the side um, I can wipe it off the truth is that this is getting painted so I don't need to do really really good clean job. So well, let me try to put this back on and here we go. Let me try to get it over and like this. Alright so it's perfectly flushed. Right? Yeah. For screws I'm using uh, wood to wood, wood to masonry, one and a half inch uh, SPX, I guess specs, um, screws, no pre-drilling, excellent. So that means I can just go ahead and take my uh, drill and put them directly in. I don't have to, uh, you know, drill little holes to guide them. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. same thing and we have the main part of one cube and I'm already saying that the Home Depot did not do a good job so I'm gonna try yeah I'm missing about one eighth of an inch so I'm gonna take a pen and I'm gonna write down where the front of the cabinet is I don't care if in the back I'm missing a little bit and if it's overhanging but I want the front to be perfectly flush so I'm going to take a pen again and write down this is the front to make sure that I remember that okay so here's the armature for the first cube all I have to do now is add the two shelves slide them in and then screw them on the side and we'll have one cube then I'll do the second one and we'll be ready to uh, put the legs just to give you a little update I marked where I wanted the, um, the shelf and they're actually um, six inches apart, top to bottom. So I just started with the first screw. I did the same thing over there. And you can see I put some wood glue just to make sure that it stays in place once the screws are tight. So I've already done um, the front part of this. I'm going to flip the cube and do the other thing and measure again because while the glue is still wet and there's only one screw, on the front here I can see I can still tilt it a little bit and use my uh, level to make sure that the shelf is actually perfectly um, leveled as opposed to in comparison or in whatever so I can um, make sure that the uh, the shelf is leveled um, with the cube so I have four screws in I have two in the front and two in the back and I use my t-square which is this thing right here um, which you place over there so it's nice and flush right and I use it um, to see where the shelf starts right and I'm basically drawing with a pen where the shelf is so that I know that I need to put screws here to make sure that the uh, um, shelf is nicely put in place and is not about to fall and I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I already marked where my shelf is. Make sure that I'm nice and angled properly. Okay, that's one. Put another one right here. more 
have a little bit of a screw that is not countersunk. I just finish it off with the hammer. All right, we got the first one. Let me show you. See that? That's the one at the bottom right here. Oh yeah, it's not going anywhere. Let me insert the second one and do the same process and we'll have one cube down. And this is cube number one, it's finished. I'm just realizing that these, is, these are really deep. It's awesome, I can put a lot of stuff in there. I can put some uh, uh, beauty bags of things. There's definitely gonna be trays. Um, everything's gonna be nicely organized. So again, because this is the Home Depot, these were not cut properly, they were missing. Uh, maybe a quarter of an inch. So what I did is that this is the front of the cabinet and I made sure that everything was flushed to the sides here. But when you look in the back, they're not so much. Like this one, for instance, I don't know if you can see, see, this one is not flushed. That's because the Home Depot doesn't give you the right cuts and they did the same thing all the way in the back. You see that? So the front is nicely flushed and I did measure them. They were missing one eighth of an inch um, and he was, he actually cut them at an angle too. So I don't know, every time I get something done at the Home Depot, I guess I'm always ranting about it. But anyway, so I have the first um, one done. I'm going to go ahead and do the second one and do the feet because if you look at this, this is actually the bottom part. The feet are going to be here and here and then in the back. And this here is going to hold the big um, panel that's the top of the desk. So that's the reason why this is staying empty. But let me tell you, I could sit on this and it's not going anywhere. I'm happy with what I'm doing so far. Um, let me see how it goes next to this. See, make sure that I didn't make them too long. Okay, so in comparison to the vanity I already have here, they are hanging a little bit over, but there's a reason for that. It's because this one right now is being flushed against the tile. And remember, I'm putting them on feet, so this is actually going to be um, lifted up and flushed against the wall. So technically, they're supposed to, if I measured properly, this part right here is supposed to come flush to this. See that? So that's about, yeah, I would say the amount of space that I have to move it up to. So yeah, I did pretty good with the measurement and I'm realizing that my floor really isn't level at all. Look at that. If I put my level, see how my floor is not leveled? So this is going to have to come this way. It's about, uh, let me see, um, I would say it's about maybe two eighths of an inch of an incline so I have to compensate with the feet that's probably gonna be a tough task to do um, many many cuts I'm afraid but let me do the second cube and then we'll find out on our own and here's the second cube so I have one and two let me put them side by side see what it's gonna look like um, then I have to struggle to figure out a way to make the legs and get them flushed. Um, I don't know if I should just do them all the same size. Probably so. Let me make, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do them all of the same height. And then I'll have to adjust in the front, putting pads, because eventually when we redo this bathroom, I'm probably gonna redo the floor and that's gonna be leveled. So if this is leveled now, when we redo the floor, it's still going to be leveled. You follow me? Um, and maybe I won't keep it. I don't know. But I don't mind putting pads. I have those little, you know, uh, foamy things that you put underneath uh, legs just to kind of level them a little bit. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is a quick look um, of what it's going to look like. Mind you, remember, this is on legs, so it's going to be elevated to the height of the uh, counter. But basically, I have the, uh, um, the major part done. Now, what I have to figure out is I think I want to overhang this just a tiny bit, right? And then the lip in the back, instead of being um, flush to this, it's going to be flush to that. So it's going to be, uh, let's say, if this is three quarter of an inch around, it's going to overhang like this. I'm hoping you can see that. Yep, like that. So, and then I have to 
because this is going to be um, elevated. It can be flush to this, which is not happening right now because I have the, don't mind the dirt, I uh, have the, uh, whatever you call it, molding here at the bottom. So I'll be able to flush it completely. So this is going to be like this on the side and directly flushed to this. And then there'll be a lip here, a lip in the back, a shelf on the top. My, um, where is it? Glass cabinet, if you remember that uh, from what I did yesterday, is going to go over there. And yeah, it is close to the toilet, but you know what? What am I supposed to do? Maybe it's too big. I don't know. Um, I got to see. I mean, I can always shorten this a little bit. Um, it doesn't bother me. Most of the time we use the uh, bathroom down on the second floor or the basement anyway, so I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, there's plenty of storage. It's going to be having this here and my stuff over there. That's for sure. Um, pretty proud of myself, I have to say. This is coming along quite nicely and um, I don't even know what time it is. Let me see. It's not even 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm so going to be done with this by noon. Um, but then again, I said that about my cleaning last week and it didn't happen. So. Maybe I have time to paint it today and show you the final result. I don't know. We'll see. Let me go in the garage. I'm going to go get my spindles, whatever they call, to build feet. And I need four. And then um, that way we can elevate it. And after that, it's just a matter of doing the top part. Yay! And I'm ready to move on to the legs. So that would be, let me write that down. Well, I wrote it down already. So that would be step two, legs. And I'm using these right here. I'm not sure how you call them. I think they're spindles. They're the ones we use for the front deck. And they are perfect. Why? Because you can cut them. Uh, let's say I can cut it here and then keep this design and cut it right here or I can cut it right here or I can keep the ball at the bottom which is probably what I'm going to do. So I have one, two, three and four because I have four legs. See so here's a um, sketch of the cube. So I have two of those remember so there's be one, two, three and four of those um and i realized that what i needed was eight so i have to figure out a way because i only have two left hmm i'm probably gonna have to cut them from here to here and then remove the ball and then do this from this that way i can have eight so yeah now what i have to do is measure now that i have the top on even though it's not secured just for show i have to measure from the top part here to all the way down to the bottom here to see what the height is and then I'm going to flush it right here right so there'll be this kind of like a lip over here and so if I do that and it gets right under this piece right here I need to see how much space the whole piece is going to take probably up to here and what the height of the legs needs to be I'm hoping I am making sense. Let me draw it for you. So, as I was saying, um, if I'm looking at the side of my other... Uh, is it flush? It goes like this. Okay, so this is the countertop, right? I'm going to flush the top of my desk here. And then here, the cabinet is going to go this way, right, with one and two shelves. So I need to measure from here, and this is the floor, from here to here, to see what length of the leg I need. So I know I'm going to cut them right here. So whatever length it is, then I have to measure it from here or here or here. And all eight of them are going to be the same height. Then I'll screw them into the bottom part, probably at an angle. That way they uh, uh, stay better. And um, yeah, anyway, we're not there yet. Let me just measure and we're gonna cut. Here's leg number one, eight and a half. See that? So these are gonna go like this at the bottom. Um, so I need to make another seven 
Let me do that, show you what they look like. Make sure that they're all at the same height, hopefully. Um, and then we're going to install them on the, um, on the cubes. And that's pretty much it. Um, the rest is going to be just putting the lip around and fix the top. And yeah, most of the job is done. This is just like tedious stuff. But otherwise, yeah, it's going along quite fine. It's only 10.30. I'm telling you, I'll be done by 12. I have to be done by 12 because I want to paint it this afternoon so I can show you the final result and look at the beautiful light. See all the sun? Let me pull out a little bit. See the sunshine I get in this? I have to wash the window, of course. Um, get to see a little bit outside. Well, not too much. All right, so with a sheer panel right here, I'm not going to put the curtains back on, but with a sheer panel, it's going to diffuse the light beautifully. Can't wait to see the result. Perfect. Exactly the right size. See that? All right, so that's two, six more to go. It's done. I have eight legs, four on each side. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. They are pretty nice. I wish I could have had the ball at the bottom, but I could put them that way too. Nah, that looks stupid. Um, all right, so let me figure out a way to anchor them to the bottom of the cabinets. But first, I gotta clean all of the sawdust here because otherwise, I'm gonna drag it all over the hideous carpet in my room. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do that first. So I was trying to put the feet at an angle and that did not work at all. So I ended up having to take the bottom panel out and now I'm screwing them directly from the underside, if you can see that. So that's where I'm at right now. It took me like an hour to realize that this was not working out for me. I should have thought about it. I should have thought of doing the feet first on the bottom and then install the bottom panel. So lesson learned, do the feet first. And that would have been step one. Okay, so this is where I'm at. Um, here's the first one. It's done, right? And it's very stable. So what I did actually is take the, uh, how was it? This thing here, which is a countersink, um, you know, screw things. And then I got those big screws that have a bolt thing at the end. So I countersink this. I'm going to insert the uh, um, the little video of it. So this got countersink, right? And then pre-drilled the hole, pre-drilled the uh, um, leg, and then just got those screws all the way in. So the screws are actually going all the way in here. See, it's uh, it's pretty long. Um, and then I used one of those little thing here to hold the screw as I was getting the leg into it and let me tell you this is not moving so I have this one done but for some reason um, there's one here that's a little bit wobbly so I'm gonna go get some finishing nails and just get a few finishing nail at an angle right here just to make sure that they are um, properly secured and then just gotta do the top and I'm done all right time to do the top so change your plan I've decided that I'm going to put the, where is it? I don't know what I did with it, it's in the bedroom. The, uh, you remember the cabinet with the glass front? I'm actually going to mount it to the wall right here. So I'm going to keep the entire space here as a tabletop. So what I'm going to do now is use some of the fairing strip, uh, which is just regular wood. And I'm going to make a lip here and all the way in the back and on this side as well. So I have the whole side here protected from, you know, spills and things like that. Just give it a finishing touch. And again, I'm giving, and again, I'm doing a little bit of an overhang right here, just about um, three quarter of an inch. And in the back, it's gonna be like this, but the fairing strip is gonna go straight onto the, uh, um, the top. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do right now is nail the uh, lip um, directly onto the top, right? So I got to do that in reverse. Okay, so for instance, I have it right here that's um, overhanging. So I'm going to put the fairing strip right here and then nail it from the top. And once this is done, just flip the whole top and it will be uh, um, complete. And then put the cabinet here 
on the wall. Hopefully I'm gonna get some of the studs. I think there's one right here so the second one should be just about here and that would be done for the day. I'm not gonna paint it. It's uh, three o'clock already. I've just about had enough of it. <sighs> this is another project that just never ends. All right so the desk is complete. I'm going to hang the cabinet on the wall. So let me show you real quickly the desk. Um, and of course it's not positioned yet because you know it's in the middle of the way and I need the space over there to put the cabinet. But here's the cabinet um, that's going to go on the wall over there. It's going to be at the same height than this one. Um, what did I do for the desk? Alright, so there's some finishing nails right here. There's three of them to hold the top to this, right? And then to hold it on the side, I did a countersinking thing and then I have a screw that goes at a 45 angle. So that goes from the side here all the way to this top part. So it just goes like this, I guess. And I have another one over here and another two on the other side. Now these right here, um, I actually screwed them in. I thought I was going to just uh, nail them, but I just drilled a hole and then put a screw. So they, being, they got screwed in from the bottom part directly into it so the screw will go from here all the way here right so i have a lip right here and then it goes this way and then there's a screw that goes from here to here right so it holds this part with this part that you can see it uh, let me try what is it where's the angle okay here we go see so there's a screw right here and that's kind of sink too um, that goes from trying to see here we go that goes from so there's a screw over here that goes from this side all the way into um, this particular one right here and then on the other side you can see too much the same way with a screw here and a screw here at a 45 degree angle going into the top from the side so it's secure right so yeah that's what it looks like right now and then in the back of it i forgot i put a piece right here that holds this side with this side so that way it's a little bit more secure and there's no you know the table with the desk is not being wobbly so it's just screwed in you know uh straight into the um the side right here and same thing over there with just one screw. It's just a piece of uh, spare wood that I had. So this is what it looks like. Let me put the cabinet up on the wall, slide the desk back in, and then I'll show you what the unfinished, unpainted, uh, complete project looks like. So you get an idea. And then what I'll do is cork the sides right here. Let me show you. Here, I gotta cork all of this, right? And I'm not going to do it today. I'm probably going to do it sometimes during the week. And then the next video will be next weekend. I will paint it. We'll get all of the, um, you know, storage bins and nice little baskets and whatnot. And I'll start reorganizing my makeup. So I thought I was going to be done today, but the legs took forever to get done. And then I took a break, had lunch and all of that. So what time is it? Uh, let's see. It's 4.38. Do you see that? 4.38. So, yeah, I'm way behind. What was I thinking? I'm going to be done by noon. <laughs> yeah, I'm insane. Um, it's a whole day project, but yeah, it looks really, really good. Wait until you see it as a finished project. It's going to be really, really nice. And then I'm going to put all of my little knickknacks and stuff. Really excited. All right. Coffee and the cabinet on the wall. It's... 515 are you ready to see the results it looks awesome check this out so i put the cabinet on the wall i have my sheer panel bag and here it is my new vanity desk unpainted with the sink right here don't mind the mess over here but pretend this doesn't exist but here it is i right, hold on let me go a little bit further so this is what it looks like can you believe the amount of space I've just given myself for my stuff? That is awesome. I have so much space. And then look at that. I can even put stuff over at the bottom. 
I have three on one side and then three on the other side and I can like double stack I can put small trays that I can stack or I can put baskets one this way one this way and I have space to put another one in the back this is the most space I've ever had in any of my bathrooms and all it took was a little bit of elbow grease so now this fits perfect I had to drill um, holes these were already pre-drilled um, even though it was a standing cabinet but I kind of sank them um, a little bit more and then I added some washers just to make sure that the screws are really tight now this one is in the uh, um, uh, focus this one is in the stud this one is not but I have one of those special I don't even know what you call them they like anchors or screws at the same time and then when you the drywall things and then when you put the screw in it just pops up so it's really, really secure. I mean, this is, I'm shaking it, you see, it's not moving. Um, and then the door opens perfectly. I washed it a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna paint it. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. Don't mind the mess here. But yeah, so the chair fits perfect. I can walk through, there's enough room. It's not taking as much room as I thought it would. It is taking room, but it's not as bad as the other thing that I had. Um, wow, I can't believe the amount of space I have. Hmm, this deserves new makeup. Yay, I'm excited. So next week, I have to reorganize all of this stuff. This actually goes here. Um, and this one goes, uh, somewhere else but not there anyway so this is all my shadows and my brushes obviously i gotta wash them these are all blushes these are all palettes um big ones small ones and i have all the lotions here and then all of my face product they may stay here i don't know i gotta think about it um i have more stuff here and then here i got eye product i got more lip product I more lip product and some various stuff nothing more stuff over here so yeah i mean i can't wait to go find me some nice nice storage now i was thinking about getting the clear um acrylic ones i don't know if i want to do that i may try to find fabric baskets that are all the same color i don't know anyway so this week i'm gonna caulk the side right here Right, just to give it a nice finish. Um, this has been sanded already. I just have to dampen it a little bit just to get rid of the sawdust. And next Saturday, I'm going to paint it. And then on Sunday, I'll spend time reorganizing and maybe I'll do a uh, what's in my makeup collection video. So yeah, that's um, this one plus the painting and the makeup collection. That's three videos coming your way just for this project. Um, all right. This was Sophia for my great challenge.blogspot.com. I hope I give you step-by-step -step instructions. Um, sometimes I forget to film in the middle of something, so I'm not sure if you got everything, but you pretty much got the idea of what I was doing. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.